We are group 18 and our topic is electroradiological fluids, their applications and challenges. My name is Skylar Scott and I'm part of the Chemie department. My name is Kevin Ramos and I'm part of the mechanical engineering department. And my name is Brandon Zertucci and I'm also part of the ME department. An electroradiological fluid or ER fluid consists of micro or nano sized polarizable particles that are suspended in a nonpolar liquid medium. With no external force acting on the fluid, it will behave like the liquid medium. The properties of an ER fluid drastically change by the induction of an electric field. Properties range from a liquid that is more viscous than the medium to a solid. After the electric field is removed, the ER fluid's properties will revert to the original values with no alteration. Useful for many different engineering applications that will be discussed later. Applications and challenges. Two applications and their challenges will be discussed. Shock absorbers and microfluidic chips. Shock absorbers. One application of VR fluid is a replacement for hydraulic fluid in shock absorbers. Shock absorbers work by dampening the impact that constantly changes magnitude by forcing a fluid through the holes of a tightly sealed perforated piston, thereby creating resistance within the monotube and reducing the speed of the piston. Traditionally, shock absorbers have hydraulic fluid inside of them. A potential benefit of using ER fluid instead of hydraulic fluid is the ability to adjust the amount of resistance being created by instantly altering the electric field that is interacting with the ER fluid. This allows for precise adjustment of the shock absorber until the desired dampening is achieved, whereas hydraulic fluids have fixed viscosities and are harder to adjust. While the ER fluid going from liquid to a solid by using electric field is a benefit, one challenge of using it would be energy is needed at all times, whereas hydraulic fluids don't need an external stimulant in order for it to perform as a working fluid. An advantage could be that you can precisely adjust the electromagnetic field at any given time so that the fluid can have the desired dampening, whereas hydraulic fluids have a fixed viscosity. ER fluids can have high strength, durability, heat resistance, and are very, very easy to seal. Therefore, they can be ideal as a working fluid of a shock absorber. Microfluidic chips. A microfluidic chip is a piece of material such as glass, silicon, or PDS material with microchannels etched or molded into the material. These microchannels are connected together in such a way that the chip will obtain the desired features. Inlet and outlet ports are created to inject or remove ER fluid. The ER fluid within the chip can be manipulated and controlled by using direct electricity or an electric field. Being able to create Microfluidic chips from different types of materials allows for many different applications of these chips. Due to their small size, prototypes are created faster and at a lower cost. ER fluids have many different applications, though they are not without their challenges. ER fluids have the ability to change their properties using an electromagnetic field. The advancements in technology and methodology allows the application of this type of fluid to go far beyond what was considered possible when it was first developed in the 1940s. With new materials exhibiting different characteristics, it's hard to limit the possibilities of ER fluids. On the left side of the screen, we have a diagram of a shock absorber and how it works. On the right side of the screen, there's a picture of an ER fluid shock absorber. Okay, so here we have two examples of microfluidic chips. On your left, you have an example which was made out of glass in the late 1990s. And on the right, we have an example made out of PDMS material. 